Hi everyone, Stacey here today, shooting in the morning for the first time in a few weeks. Um, I've been shooting in the afternoons on the weekend um, because our sitter hasn't been available and so my husband's been watching the kids for me. Love him dearly, he's so supportive. But the sitter's here today and I'm trying to shoot in the morning. <laughs> and I'm like, oh here's the sun. So I've changed the angle a little bit um, to help so I'm not blind. And great, I'm gonna talk about my sunglasses in this video. But um, if I put them on, you'll you'll see how hilarious they look on on the camera. <laughs> it's like, why is she doing a video with her sunglasses on? Yeah, yeah, no, we won't do that. Okay, so this video is about my most used um, Vera Bradley items. Um, most used. I it's not just stuff I'm sticking in just to show off in the video. I'm talking about used. Like I was sitting in my in my computer the other night and think, okay, what do I use? I'm like staring off in his face. Of course, right in front of me, I'm like, oh, there's some Vera Bradley I use every day. <laughs> you know, you get to using it so often, you just don't even think about it. And it's just every, you know, in, in my everyday part of my life is, so anyway, we're going to show this. And I have no particular order. Um, I love top 10 lists, but I'm, I'm just showing you exactly everything I use so much. Um, and, and a few, a few other pieces are around here because I couldn't fit it all on my little table here. So let's, let's get into this. Okay, before I lose these, I love these hair clips. Um, I just got these from the outlet sale. You should have already seen the haul video from there, um, at the time. I was actually a little late jumping on board with these clips and they're amazing. They keep your hair back so well. I just wish they came in like a pack of eight instead of four because yeah I can wear two on each side but then I wear them in the back when I have a ponytail. So my, my daughter hates wearing stuff in her hair but I absolutely love these clips. Um, so I, I just got some nomadic floral. And I feel like I'm a little late to this because they discontinued them but I think they brought them back to the outlet stores because that's nomadic floral. And I thought I had the latest and greatest with these. Ah, dropped one. Okay. So I have the Midnight Houndstooth. Of course, black and white goes with everything. And then Moon Drops. I have Lola, and it was before I discovered how awesome they were. And I think I sold them. So, <laughs> oops. But their hair clips are amazing if uh, you're looking to possibly get them. Um, socks. Haven't used this particular pair yet. Um... But my Camo Cat Gray, I just wore them yesterday. Actually, I have a couple pair, but um, they, these show up prettier on the video anyway. Yeah, I just wore a pair yesterday uh, to church. And I um, absolutely love their socks. Uh, the Foxy Socks, 53% cotton, 45% nylon, 2% spandex, machine wash cold. Use non-chlorine bleach when needed, tumble dry low. I, I just throw these in the dryer like everything else. Um... Yeah, I don't pay t much attention to the instruction, washing instructions on these because they're, they're so durable. Um, the only issue I've had is, is my own fault. Um, I, and you've heard me talk about this before. I accidentally washed one of my Alpine floral socks in with the whites. So I have like a, a plum colored one and a black. <laughs> I still wear them, especially if nobody's going to see my socks. But like in the winter, you know, we wear our, our winter boots a lot here. It's a necessity. Um, and if you go to a friend's house, obviously you need to take your boots off and then they all see your socks. And these are awesome socks to be showing off. And they fit really well under boots too. Of course they're not the high boot socks. Um, but you know, with skinny jeans, it doesn't really matter if you wear boot socks, or at least to me. And trust me, the last few years that we've lived up north, I've worn boots a lot. <laughs> these work great with my boots. So there those are. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also have allergies um, with the springtime season. Everything is finally in bloom. Like it finally started blooming like two weeks ago. And I know it's mid-May. And it's just wreaking havoc. My my poor daughter is, is a mess. But got some allergy medicine that, that's helping her. So anyway. Um, this is the piece that I was staring at. I was like, <laughs> what do I use so much? What do I use every day? This is in Yellow Bird. This is in... Um, uh, take note cube and these papers and it I've got the coordinate I actually have two yellow bird pens but I I'm not particularly matchy matchy at all but for some reason I I like that being matchy matchy and you know these are on my desk in my office and I use them all the time actually <laughs> okay 
I've had this forever. And um, give you a time reference here. I started using these before you could put notes on your smartphone. All right, I, there's a little bit of history there for you. So I would write down my grocery list on these. They're you know they're not sticky. They come off, so you do have to be careful with that. My husband uses these all the time. He's he's surprisingly lower tech than I am. <laughs> so he uses these all the time. Um, I sat down at the couch in the family room the other day, and I, I saw one of these sitting there saying, uh, with his notes said, email somebody. I was like, no, he uses them almost as much as I do. Um, but I love these, and they last forever. Um, I've had this for years. I um, can't remember. I had a ballet blue one at one time, but I might have given that one away. Um, but yeah, obviously my pens are very well used, and then my take note cube I use all the time. All the time. Um, my sunglasses. Let's get these <laughs> out of the way. I told you I had boysenberry. And here they are. I grabbed them out of my van for you. Um, smudges and all. My, my youngest just grabbed these yesterday. I haven't cleaned them yet. But they are so durable. I've had Fendi. I've had Coach. I've had Vera Bradley. And when living out in California, you live in your sunglasses. And my Fendi ones, I broke. I broke my Coach. Um, actually, broke my Coach in... Uh, where we live now, unfortunately, right after we moved here. And um, I forgot I had these. Actually, I had raspberry fizz and boysenberry. Boysenberry gets used all the time. There's that wonderful boysenberry pattern there. Anyway, um, these are so durable. You can see with the my lighting. <laughs> look like a bug. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, awesome, awesome glasses. So, very, very highly recommend the Vera Bradley sunglasses. I'd love to have another pair. These are the Kristen and um, UV 400 Boysenberry 102. Um, I want another pair, but um, I don't live anywhere near a Vera Bradley retailer, and I don't want to buy them online because I want to try them on before I buy another pair, but I would like to go get another pair. I got these at the outlet sale years ago. Oh, 20 bucks. Um... My flip-flops, okay, I used to live in these in California. These are my new Heather ones. Um, my old Heather ones, um, I don't have the heart to throw them away, but I need to. I stretched them out with my last pregnancy because I lived with them, lived in them. And then I wore the, the back, I wore these, I didn't mean to, but I forgot my tennis shoes. And I wore these to Disneyland, Disneyland. And they held up fabulously. That's how durable these suckers are. I love my Heather. Um, I, yeah, I actually, uh, wore these before I did my outlet sell haul video. Uh, I, I couldn't wait. It's finally nice out. Ah, flip flops, you know. Um, yeah, I'll probably start wearing them to church. Um, again, these are a medium, so they're seven eighths. I wear a seven and a half shoe, and they fit fantastic. I mean, they really are true to size. But look at that. And I have so many of these. I need to do a video on my flip flops. They're, <laughs> are, um, you know, with the winters and stuff here, I, I put all my flip-flops away and then, um, you know, bring out my winter shoes and vice versa. So I still need to do that. But I have flip-flops around thanks to my outlet hole hole um, to get me by until I get out all the rest of my flip-flops. These are awesome. Uh, retail for 24 You can often find them on sale when they're in retired pattern. So. Um, this ditty bag, this is my A to Z. This one in particular gets the most use out of all of them because of the material. It's not fabric. Um, it's still lined just like the others. I got this at the outlet sale as well as my son's luggage, rolling luggage that matches this. And um, it, I love this as a swim bag. I throw, you know, I'll take him swimming, put the other two in, in child sitting, go right for my blog while, <laughs> while he's swimming and um, throw his um, wet clothes and towel in here. His, a beach towel and his wet clothes will fit in here. And just throw it in the bag and not have to worry about getting my bag wet. So it's amazing. It's seen a lot a lot of use. I've washed it many times. Um, I've Yeah, it still works. But there's the little um, closure there. It's a very sturdy piece. Um, my, my son, Eli, <laughs> you've seen him in the videos. 
Um, he got the, these when he was, I don't know, one or two. So he claims these, these are his. Um, he could care less if it's Vera Bradley. It's his. And before he could read, he thought all these letters spelled out his name. So he, he's going through the airport with his luggage thinking he's all big and bad. Because his, his bag <laughs> says Eli on it. <laughs> and really it spells out Vera Bradley and all the, the different letters there. So it's so cute. Didn't have the heart to break it to. Okay. When I start shooting videos during the day, especially in the mornings, to get me going, because I'm not a morning person, I am a night owl, to get me going into these videos and get me all pumped up, I do the one, I do my favorite first. And this is one of my favorites, because I'll say I'm showing the stuff that I use the most. So it's so easy to talk about. Um, but I promised a sitter I would do this video first this morning, <laughs> because she wants to take the kids to the park, bless her. Um, and I gotta give her back the diaper bag. I, I keep saying I'm gonna switch to my Kia Paisley one, but I haven't yet. This is my grungy red preppy poly tote that I keep telling you guys about. Um, I should probably clean it. It's seen a lot of action. It's got my youngest son's name on it for church. Um, it doesn't have any Vera inside. It's still all packed ready for the park with the sunscreen that we're finally using again. Some toys. They had to go to the doctor with me yesterday. So it's got a little more toys than usual. Little Cinderella pacifier. My son turned two, like, I don't know, three weeks ago. We're trying to wean him, but I think I'm as dependent on it in public places as he is. And ugh, he won't go to kindergarten with it, you know? Little minion eraser, snacks, water bottles, eating utensils that need to be washed. This poly, preppy poly, it's held up really well because I have used this bag. I mean, it goes over. And I thought the handles were actually cracking. I think they're faux leather, but they're not. Uh, I'm wrong. It's holding up so well. I just should probably wash it, but then again, I, I have other bags I can use too, so why not give them some love too? So, the, uh, right now it's got a ton of stuff in it, and it holds up well. Okay, I use this clipboard all the time. Take my notes off here that I was doing for the cake toppers that I sell on eBay, but yeah, it's got some stuff on it. This is Imperial Trois. It's a Vera Bradley clipboard. I don't think they make the clipboards anymore, but I use this all the time. It's got a notepad um, that I still use on it from time to time, but I, I write on this all the time. I mean, it's seen so much use. Awesome piece. Very sturdy. Survived every move that we made. Three Two cross country, we've got a third coming up. Two cross country moves, several moves within California, and it's just done so well. And I love that pattern. We'll show the back because it's not as dirty as the front with the pagoda there. Um, love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, so the last piece I was going to show was a throw, and I'm still obviously going to show a throw because it gets a ton of use. Or I say, oh, like I, I've got one. <laughs> you guys know I have a lot of throws. But um, now that it's summertime, I actually use another rear Bradley blanket as much as a throw in the summer. So we'll talk about throws. They're amazing. They're awesome. Go watch my throw video and see how awesome they are. This is Midnight with Mickey. Gum free. <laughs> Thankfully, it does not smell like mint anymore. Um, there's an awesome Mickey and Minnie pattern. These are super rare. Um, new with tags. You're probably paying around $400 for, for this blanket. I was so fortunate. A friend in, uh, near, that lives near Orlando picked this up, up for me at near retail cost, even with shipping and, you know, paying her extra uh, to to go get that. She just was such a good friend. And I got a second one that paid. It was used, but came from, you know, a friend, so not a big deal. Um, you know, I didn't pay $400 for it, but I, I paid her a good, good price for it. Um, but... I also use the stadium blanket. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Twitter, all the above, you've seen I've already busted out. And I've washed it since then. It really needed washed. But this actually goes in my van um, wherever we go anyway. And I use this and I don't know if it's a stadium blanket. It's got a shininess to it. Um, there's one in the guest bedroom, but I won't grab it. Because I, I just put those blankets in the car for uh, winter travel. If we're going long distances, especially my husband, even in his, in his work car, I put one of those blankets in in case he gets stranded. Because, I mean, seriously, this winter, 
um, temperature wise it got down to 30 below and that was before wind chill and it gets windy here <laughs> so you can understand why I put blankets in the car um, it's survival anyway this is my stadium blanket I've used this forever this is plum petals um, this is the pretty decorative side and you've got your fun color fleece there um, I take this to baseball games my son's t-ball games when we lived in California we would take it to Padre games sit out on the lawn um, we just had a picnic with it. It was oh, so perfect here the other day. Um, no wind, no bees, no mosquitoes. Okay, the mosquito problem here is so bad that the military flies over two, three times during the summer and sprays the town. And you may be thinking, oh my gosh, they spray. You know, they obviously spray at night or super early in the morning. It's necessary. If you go outside of town where they haven't sprayed, like, I, I gotta get a picture and show you guys <laughs> when it gets bad. I don't think it'll be as bad this year because we had a, a colder winter. But last winter we didn't have a cold winter and so the mosquitoes were really bad and um, my husband was telling me he saw this fire hydrant and you literally, I mean he could tell by the shape it was a fire hydrant, you literally could not see the color underneath because it was swarmed. It was covered by mosquitoes. That's how bad it is here. So that's why they spray here. Um, you know, if it's getting close to springtime, it, it starts getting bad. You go walk out and you can see them rising <laughs> out of your yard. Um, so bad. And the bees are bad, bad here too. Not as bad as mosquitoes. But, you know, mosquitoes aren't out yet. It is, there are a lot of ticks here. Especially this year. I'm making this place sound so wonderful. And, um, but if you keep your, your yard mode and fertilized, or fertilized, you don't have a big tick problem. So we don't have ticks in our yard. Knock on wood. Anyway, use this, <laughs> I digress, use this as um, a picnic blanket. I, it's just an uh, awesome blanket. I, like I said, I take it everywhere. It washes really well. I, I just got it out of the wash. I just washed it like two days ago. And yeah, it's got a little bit of staining on it, but nothing crazy. Nothing I'd be ashamed of. <laughs> like, oh, don't use that. It's so dirty. No, it's okay. So this is my top use most used Vera Bradley items in my everyday use. Um, and I really couldn't, I feel like I really couldn't throw a purse in there because I, I do change it up. Right now I'm, I'm about to switch out for my calf kids, Kistons, maybe a saddle up. I've just been talking about those so much. I'm like, oh, I love those so much. So maybe going back to saddle up. Maybe a little hipster. I don't know. I don't know. Wherever the wind blows, I guess. Um, but if you found this entertaining or informative, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, The Amazing Shopper, um, that would be fantastic. I show different pictures and uh, some behind the scenes, some of my kids. Like I showed the, how I used the stadium blanket as a picnic blanket the other day. I um, have Alice sell pictures on there. And then I'm on Facebook, The Amazing Shopper, and Twitter amazing underscore shopper and um, if you'd like to learn more about Vera Bradley and see more of my videos uh, please subscribe to my channel down below and um, I, I greatly appreciate it um, you guys were over 300 subscribers and I literally did not have a YouTube account until February 1st when we got started <laughs> So, love you guys. You, you guys are so supportive. I appreciate it. Um, so, please, stay tuned. More videos coming, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.